Hello there, David Thompson here from the world of tech.net. And in this podcast, yes, this is me doing a podcast, I'd like to start off with something pretty different and interesting. Here with me, I have Tom from It's My Natural Colour, who does an awesome job over at his channel. He does a ton of great videos on things that interest him and things which will probably interest you. So youtube.com forward slash it's my natural colour. Be sure to check out his videos. I have watched them for a long time and I know a lot of the editors at the World of Tech have so I'm sure you will enjoy them. All the links of course will be in this post and in the description. So I'm basically going to ask Tom here a few questions. Um, I'll start with saying the first one. Um, on Tom's channel he features a lot of Apple computer videos, old Apple computer videos, he features a lot of game videos, old computer videos, and it's pretty much the retro thing which interests me. So the first question I'm going to ask is, what attracts you, Tom, to old Apple computers? Well, that's actually um, surprisingly a difficult question for me because I started off using the newer Apple computers just like anyone else out there. And because I found them to be so much better than anything I'd ever used in the past, obviously Windows, um, I wanted to understand where, how it got to the stage that it was at when I started. So I, I looked back into the history of Apple and read up quite a lot of things, watched a few videos, and then of course that led to me getting a few of the older machines just to have a sort of experiment with so that I could... Yeah really understand how Apple as a company developed through uh, different stages. So that's quite interesting. And I also um, enjoyed sharing the older Apple stuff on my channel because I felt that even though there were videos on YouTube of people doing that already, there wasn't anyone that put... I'm, I'm not going to put anyone down, of course, but there wasn't anyone that put a lot of passion into it. And I... I, I tend to found it quite a, a passionate topic, so that's how that all got started. Wow, cool. So before, I, I've noticed from your channel in the last few years you've used Apple computers and Windows, but what was your first introduction to computers, really? Your first meeting with them? Was that Windows computer as opposed to Mac? It was indeed. It was uh, a Windows... 98 machine that was my first computer that I owned it wow. wasn't really mine um, it was the family's computer but that's the first machine that I really grew up with yeah. that's the machine I remember uh, various games and whatnot but I used a lot of older DOS machines in school um, in the very early days of school but I don't remember a lot of that at all no. so it was Windows primarily so Windows 98 was my first OS that I used properly yeah, well, um, I really do like Windows 98. It's one of my favourite operating systems out there. Yeah, uh, it's pretty I'll good. agree with you on that one. <laughs> um, so that's all I've got to ask with the Apple computers, basically. I'm an Apple fan. Well, I'm not an Apple fan. I, I use new Apple computers because they work, but I've also got quite a few older Apple computers. I've got a Power Mac G5 and stuff like that, so... That's basically what I've got. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool. I'm into my G5. I have to sell it to get the Mac Pro, but I hope to get another one back soon because it's fun to make videos on them. Yeah. I, I, I really like my G5. I just need to find a use for it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the tricky thing, especially with the support these days as well. It's just it's crazy how, how bad the PowerPC support is going. It, it's... <laughs> I'm I'm planning on using it for a server. Another thing which I'd love to get is an iMac G5, but it's just there's so many problems with them computers. The G5, yeah, exactly. the iMac G5, just the design. I might I might just go out and buy a broken one. <laughs> it's just the design yeah, I like. Just buy a broken one and have it. Yeah. On my desk, looking important. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Good. Um. Quest the next question I'm going I want to ask you is basically that you've got a range I know you've got quite uh, some videos on retro TVs you've got videos on um sound systems all sorts of um studio music stuff um what is your all time favorite electronic device? Well, that is 
Definitely a hard question, isn't it? <laughs> um, that is really, really hard to say. Am I allowed to sort of split it into categories or do I have to say an um, overall device? Feel free, you can split them into categories if that helps. All right, cool. So the, my favourite electronic device that I rely on, I think I've got to be geeky here and kind of say it's my Mac Pro, simply because, well, not just the Mac Pro, but whatever computer I use as my main computer at that time is my favourite electronic device for pretty much everything because because it, I, it's the central hub, isn't it? I mean, it does yeah, everything. Yeah. So Everything kind of evolves and, and relies on this machine. Yeah, yeah, it does. It, it drives, it sounds really sad and, and kind of pathetic <laughs> to some people, but it does drive my life because so many things in my life revolve around the need to use the, the computer, obviously. Um, but other sort of parts of my life then, um, I obviously rely heavily on my iPhone, just like anyone else out there. Um, but I wouldn't really, I wouldn't class it as one of my favorite electronic devices because it's just something that I depend on now, not something that I, I guess, fully enjoy using. You know, I guess it's the apps that we enjoy more now than the actual device itself. Yeah. So I get people sort of asking me, you know, when you're going to upgrade to the to the iPhone 4S and whatnot. And as much as I'd love to get that awesome device, because it's obviously far better than the yeah. 3GS, which is what I have, um, it's I have no need to do it. And as you can see by my channel, I I tend to focus on sort of little little parts here and there, a few different um, genres, I guess you could say, of of my life um, with different electronics, and that's pretty cool. But of course. Um, like you said about the music stuff, I'm a massive...